The Public and Its Problems, a treatise published in 1927 by renowned philosopher John Dewey, delves into the intricacies of democracy and its relevance in the modern era. While Dewey had previously touched upon political matters, this work stands as his first comprehensive exploration of the subject. It is important to view the public and its problems in relation to philosopher Walter Lippmann, as Dewey originally wrote it as a response to Lippmann's influential criticisms of democracy in books such as Public Opinion, 1922, and The Phantom Public, 1925. Lippmann argued that the general public lacked sufficient knowledge to contribute meaningfully to the formulation of effective state policies in a democratic society, suggesting instead that a technocratic elite should govern. Dewey, in addressing these concerns, sets out to establish the meaning and viability of democracy in the context of the 20th century. Dewey begins by asserting that human societies cannot be understood solely through the lens of unconscious animal instincts. Instead, he contends that the unique faculties of humanity must be considered to comprehend the complexities of human society. According to Dewey, a crucial characteristic that distinguishes humans from animals is their heightened awareness of the consequences of their actions and their ability to grasp the full extent of these consequences. This understanding of consequences leads to the recognition of negative externalities, whereby human actions may have indirect effects on unrelated parties. While many human actions primarily impact those directly involved, there are instances when the consequences extend beyond the immediate participants. For example, the decision of a small community to construct a factory within their town may initially appear as a private matter, affecting only the local residents. However, Dewey delves deeper into the ramifications of such actions, considering how they may have broader implications for the environment, public health, or neighboring communities. By acknowledging the existence of negative externalities, Dewey highlights the interconnectedness of society and underscores the importance of considering these wider consequences in the democratic decision-making process. In The Public and Its Problems, Dewey challenges Lippmann's views on democracy and offers a pragmatic perspective on the role of informed citizenry in shaping effective governance. By emphasizing the need for individuals to be aware of the consequences of their actions and to consider the broader impact on society, Dewey lays the groundwork for a more inclusive and participatory democratic system. However, when that factory produces pollution that adversely affects a neighboring town, the pollution itself becomes what Dewey refers to as a negative externality. Negative externalities can manifest in various forms. It is in response to these negative externalities that a public emerges, with its fundamental purpose being to establish regulations and measures to address these negative externalities in the interest of the common good. In a democratic system, the public fulfills this role by electing representative officials who collectively form the state. Dewey argues that the concept of a public can only come into existence when confronted with a negative externality. Dewey acknowledges that the challenge with this system, as Lippmann and others have highlighted, lies in various forces that impede the public's full understanding and articulation of its needs. These forces include corporate and special interests, the numbing effects of popular entertainment, the impact of new technologies, the limitations imposed by specialized work roles that hinder the free flow of information, and inherent flaws of human nature such as selfishness. Dewey recognizes that elected officials, although entrusted with serving the common good, sometimes exploit their power for personal gain, even at the expense of the electorate. These forces distort the public's perception of its own context and hinder its ability to elect effective policymakers, thereby impeding the proper functioning of democracy. Furthermore, Dewey explores the profound social changes brought about by the Industrial Revolution and the First World War which have deepened the divide between the upper and working classes. He observes that industrialization and capitalism have led to increased bureaucratization, resulting in specialized work roles that have eroded the ideal of the versatile pioneer who possessed a broad range of skills and knowledge. In examining these societal shifts, Dewey underscores the challenges faced by democracy in the modern era. The complexities of industrialization, the influence of economic interests, and the limitations imposed by specialized roles all contribute to the erosion of a truly participatory democracy. Dewey's exploration aims to shed light on these issues and foster a deeper understanding of the obstacles that need to be overcome in order to realize a more effective and inclusive democratic system. 
This societal shift has resulted in a populace that struggles to grasp the broader implications of their actions, leading to inefficient and uninformed decision-making. Lippmann, perceiving democracy's inherent flaws as insurmountable, fails to see a viable path to rectify these issues and make democracy function effectively. On the contrary, Dewey remains hopeful and argues that increased communication can serve as a remedy to rescue democracy from its own shortcomings. In Dewey's view, enhanced communication, coupled with expanded education, can foster a genuine interest in political affairs and empower individuals to participate meaningfully in the democratic process. Dewey firmly asserts that communication alone can make a great society. The public and its problems, much like any philosophical work, presents a challenging task to summarize and truly comprehending its depth requires careful reading and repeated examination. Since its publication, alongside Lippmann's writings, it has been the subject of intense debate. The issues these works identify regarding democracy have only become more pronounced with time, which sustains the relevance of treatises such as Dewey's. Of particular interest in Dewey's work is his inherent skepticism towards technology and its impact on society. Considering Dewey's emphasis on the vital role of communication in safeguarding democracy, it is intriguing to ponder how he would assess the internet and its influence in the present day. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.